what's up guys so like i've done on every single video so far fair warning the audio is going to be sucky in this video but starting next episode it's going to be great or not perfect but definitely way better than it is now so thank you for being patient with me all right here we are again the black screen <laughs> tree room we were in the tree room yes that is right we were meeting the last few of the characters that are left. Um, let's start with you. Glad to see you're doing all right, kid. Of course I'm all right. You gave everyone a scare running away like that. I really thought we could catch you, but... How fortunate that the door came equipped it with a lock. See? However, it was all worth it. Look at these people I befriended during my exploration. I'm confused. What are we playing? Hide and seek? I hear ya. I'll give credit where credit's due. You came back with plenty of spoils. Okay. He's interesting. Who? What? He, what ultimate are you, <laughs> sir? Oi, you. I want to talk for a sec. Uh -huh. Is she going to go ahead and shoot her shot? You're a pirate, right? <laughs> Shiver me timbers. Oh, hi, matey. That kind of pirate, right? Pirate? No, I don't think he's a pirate. I didn't see anything about that. Hey. I'm not a pirate. I'm a ship captain. There's a huge difference. Oh. Ship captain. Right. A ship captain? I'm talking. You don't need to be so loud. She was just asking a question. Just a question? Huh. For guys like me, that pirate nonsense is a tired stereotype. Watch it. Pirates live off of stealing and causing trouble. We ship captains are nothing like those low lives. Jeez. If you are not a pirate, then explain the clothes. Uh huh. Do these look like the clothes of a pirate to you? <laughs> Maybe not a real one, but an exaggerated stereotype, sure. <sighs> oh, you've made him mad. Please don't. It's probably best you leave this man alone. I take it he's dealt with our kind before. My mistake. I never like to soil the mood, but a man can only stand so much. Don't make fun of him! I'm real sorry. Anyway. Whatever. You said you were a ship captain, right? This guy was acting weird, but I wanted to get more out of him. I never pictured a ship captain receiving an invitation from Eden's Garden Academy, especially not someone like this guy. That's right. He is so... Speaking of, like, sheltered and stereotypes and stuff, he thinks everyone's gonna be just like him. That's right. <laughs> I know the seas like the back of my hand, every river and waterway within the north and southern waters. <laughs> I'm the king of the seas, hero of the storms. I am. John de la Mer. Nice majestic voice acting, John. You... Uh, when I say John, I think of Attack on Titan. <laughs> Anyways, King of the Seas, Hero of the Storms. Do people actually call him that, or did he come up with those some names? Is so, that really true? <laughs> I'm terrible at reading this. You know every river and waterway? Is that really true? Oh. Yep, I've studied every map I possibly can. Of course I haven't actually been everywhere. I put the emphasis on the wrong word there. <laughs> of course I haven't been everywhere. According to a stingy little thing called Border Patrol, that's known in some parts as trespassing. <laughs> I may be king of the seas, but I'm not above the law. Mm. I suppose that's good enough. I see. Either way, it's not like it matters much here. From the looks of it, we're nowhere near the ocean. Leave it to me! Fortunately, life as a captain has accustomed me to the unexpected. You lads can trust in me. I will protect you as if you were my own crew. What now? Protect? Protect us from what? Oh, you'll see! Aye. I suppose, from whoever put these wristwatches on us. Then again, there doesn't seem to be anyone else in this place apart from us. How's that so? Guess that means our only obstacle is finding an escape. Not too big of an ask, yeah? All we need to do is find where we entered, and then voila! Sweet freedom. With such a simple conclusion, he sure was making a big deal out of it. 
By the way... It may interest you to know that people are gathering outside the building this Kayura explored. We want everyone together so we can discuss what to do next. Would you like to join? Good to know! Always good to keep people on the same wavelength. See you there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's a prick. Not at all what I expected. Funny, he was every bit as dumb as his appearance. <gasps> I'm so mad at this protagonist! What was the Academy thinking inviting someone like him? I want to smack the fuck out of Damon right now. He is so fucking narrow-minded. I don't like the protagonist. I like Mr. Wolfgang over here. Anyways, fine. Um, I actually really want to know who this guy is because he looks like Rotaro with pink hair. Literally looks like he was based off of him. Who are you? Historian! There was a historian. A boy was silently observing the space around him and jotting things down in a notebook. Hello? I do like the protagonist's voice, though. The hell? What are you, like, fucking Chiaki? Uh. Sorry, I dozed off for a bit there. A cause for concern. You have terrible eye bags. Have you not been getting enough sleep? Mm. Getting knocked out on a train was the most sleep I've gotten in a week. Thankfully, that little girl woke me up before I wasted too much time. <laughs> if I'd known better, I wouldn't have. Your terrible sleep schedule has diminished your already meager natural beauty. The guy paused for a few seconds and began furiously scribbling in his notebook. Now he's Deku. I think he's on to fly here. I think he's on to fly here. A boy with a snake tie, a girl with a white uniform, a man with a daper suit. Oi, you! Dapper. I'm very sorry I mispronounced things. <laughs> Not used to narrating. What are you doing? Excuse me. A very loud woman with a visor. Uh? Are you writing about mm -hmm. us? I make sure to record all my daily happenings. There's no way I'd remember it all otherwise. In some fashion, note-taking is just one of my many responsibilities. <sighs> my, my name, name is... is Ulysses Wilhelm, and I'm the ultimate historian. Please make note of that for future reference. My bad, I talked over him. You know, when they introduced themselves, I need to shut the fuck up. Ulysses. I forgot all of their names by now. Impressive. Interesting. A fellow scholar much like myself. Jeez. Shouldn't an ultimate historian be good at memorizing yes. stuff? I'm perfectly proficient in remembering historical facts. This notebook is just for more frivolous information. Stuff like shopping lists, classmates' birthdays, when to brush my teeth. Filthy. Such excellent memory wasted on many old trivia. You probably couldn't even remember the date of your wedding anniversary unless you wrote it down. Unfortunately. I think that's the same for most men. So... I love Wolfgang. He's my favorite character so far. So, what do you do as the ultimate historian? As of now, I work at the Patawamic River Museum in Senecomic... Please, I'm butchering this. And so on and so on. I direct one of the exhibits there, the Cold War Era. I learned about the Cold War. When I'm not giving tours, I'm studying primary source documents in my office. <laughs> no wonder you can't get any sleep. If you can stay awake while reading all those boring history books, there's definitely something wrong with you. I'm gonna kind of agree with Grace on this one. I'm not a big fan of history, even though it's important to learn it. I never said I, that it wasn't very important and that you shouldn't learn it. It's just that it does drain me to have to... <laughs> But, like, history was my least favorite subject. History isn't for everyone, I'm aware, but it's important knowledge nevertheless, like I said. Mm -hmm. Those who fail to learn from history are doomed to sound stupid when arguing on the internet. I was not expecting him to say that. Yes, he's definitely right. I was expecting him to say doomed to repeat history. Because that's what's always said, but... No. That's not how the saying goes. <laughs> It isn't, but I updated it to coincide with more modern values. You're right! You're right! This is... This, yeah. Uh... 
I thought it was funny. I do too. Right. Humorous objective. Aw, come on. Come on, Ulysses. I, I, I thought it was funny. Anywho. People have begun gathering outside. See? The plan is to discuss our next course of action. Could you please join them? Sleepy. Yeah, right. Thank you. Uh. He hurriedly fumbled through the pages of his notebook. Toshiko Kayura. Unacceptable! Did you seriously forget my name? This is the most egregious offense. Take solace in the fact that I am a mere matchmaker and not your romantic partner. According to my notes. In a large world run by even larger ideas, small things can be easily overlooked. <laughs> Banning herself indignantly, Toshiko stormed off. <laughs> Should we follow her? Yeah. This guy we just met probably won't. Oh, okay. He is asleep. I want to know who you are. I like you. Oops. I'm really sorry for hurting your feelings. <laughs> I'll give your content a try. Who knows, I might really like it. Content? Man. If you didn't like me from the start, you're never gonna like me. Is he an influencer? One of these people are an influencer. Hi. Wait. Over here! New guy, over oh. here. What? You boarded the train before things went all crazy, right? Yes! He tried to talk to Damon, but Damon was an idiot. Do you not see this pretty boy in front of you? <laughs> Check it out. Me and the new guy together again. <laughs> Aww, he's so cute! Stop. Stop acting like we're friends. I don't even know you. I sound so enthusiastic to you, Damon. You're gonna hurt his feelings. You're just messing with me. That's a joke, right? What is? You know, that thing you just said. Hey. Maybe you've heard my name before. This Kai Montiego ring a bell? Kai Montiego. Montiago. Montiago. Hey. Kai. I'm just gonna call him Kai. Sorry. Something of an artist. Something of an entrepreneur. Very funny. He's an influencer. A really big influencer. <sighs> nope, doesn't ring a bell. Ouch. Right in the ego. I thought I already lost all faith in humanity before coming to this dump. But... An influencer. This is amazing. <laughs> is he... Is he acting? Or is he actually crying? Kai. You don't recognize the dumbass. Must be oh. nice. You do? Yes. The guy's the cancer of the internet. You disagree with him in one thing, and he'll sick his army of underage followers on you. Oh dear god. <laughs> He's a dictator with a trendy fit. Uh, another day, another drama. You naysayers types are always so overdramatic. Whatever. Don't listen to her, new guy. This chick's just recycling other people's propaganda. Are you done yet? You're the one to talk. Check yourself in the mirror before crying propaganda. Uh... See that? I see you're no stranger to photo editing. I'm kind of impressed. No one would ever guess you have the face of a horse. That's so mean! He's so pretty! What are you talking about? Of course he'd be an influencer, because he's fucking beautiful. And the tears return as quickly as they vanish. Was he actually emotional? I'm not sure what I expected an influencer to be like in person, but this was definitely not Don't it. Don't be mean! Leave Kai alone. He may not be the nicest person in the room, but can't you see you're hurting his feelings? Hey, hold on a second. I recognize that crest. Fucking Hope Speak Academy crest. He can get over it. Anyway. What about you? Hmm. <clears throat> Can you give me your name and talent? Are they- they've always been kind of close. I wonder if, like, they're related in some way or something? Oh. I'm Diana Venesia, your local cosmetologist. If you're ever in need of a makeover, I'll work my magic. <laughs> Just ask. Okay. Gotta remember this is fan game. 
Diana. Diana, that is a beautiful name. Anyways, cosmetologist. They would work good together, influencer and cosmetologist. Come again. Is that it? You're just a makeup artist? For your information. Just! Not just a makeup artist. The makeup artist. What? Indeed. Diana is the biggest beautician in Hollywood. In Hollywood? She's relatively new to the public sphere, but word of her talent has been dominating social media. Enough to pique the interest of the entertainment elite. <laughs> Now every A-list celebrity is scrambling to hire okay. hire her. I see, this is not your first time talking about her. Hmm. I am simply quoting my friends. They are all on Diana's waiting list. I'm sure. I anybody? Why is it a shock that this guy doesn't recognize her? What about me? How humiliating. Why do you care what he thinks? Isn't the demographic for people like you largely teenage girls? Why are you calling me out? Okay, listen. Listen, I'm a year away from being two decades old, okay? I'm 19. I'm still technically just an older teenager, okay? Just, just, just shut up. <laughs> but he seems really upset that no one recognizes him. I feel like that's kind of a weird thing. I wouldn't want people to recognize me, if I'm being honest, you know? But, I mean, also, being an influencer and stuff, being really popular, you're used to all the attention, so he's kind of probably like an attention seeker, unintentionally, if that makes any sense. Hell no! My stuff is for everyone. I'm inclusive like that. Hold on. Okay, that's it. Let's break this up. Diana, could you and Kai go to the courtyard outside? We're trying to get everyone to gather no there. Worries. All right. See you later. <sighs> None of those guys like me either. He might have really big insecurities, too. Makeup artist and an influencer. Or this, any other academy, I wouldn't bat an eye. The Ultimate Talent Program is a shell of itself. It'll hand out ultimate titles to anyone who asks. But Eden's Gardens Academy said it was above that. It said it prioritized academic talent. And now, it thinks I'm on par with those two. Okay, this is the music creator, isn't he? He's got headphones. <laughs> Come on! Just say something. Come on, please, pretty please. I like this guy right here. So harsh. All I wanted was your name. The figures. No, oh, it's more people. That's a slipping and sliding. Hey there. Oi! What's the matter with him? Yeah. I don't know. I spent ages trying to get this guy's name. Uh, he won't say anything. It's simple. Maybe he's just introverted. If he's being a weirdo about it, just ignore him. Who are you anyway? <laughs> Who am I? The name's Jet Dawson, Ultimate Drag Racer. Nice to meet you, shrimp. Shrimp? That's nice. That's that. Uh, okay. Jet Dawson. Not the last name. Dawson, guys. Drag racer, given his outfit, that comes to no surprise. Mm. Aren't you warm in that suit? <laughs> Is this the same voice actor as fucking Scooby Doo or something? Are you confused? There's a fan inside the back of my helmet that emits cool air, kind of like the fans in car seats that cool your butt. Let's rock and roll! Isn't that super rad? I like this for sprite, that's cool. But the way he yells every word, he could make anything sound like a big deal. Blech. Only issue is, they don't extend to the rest of my suit. Get a grip! And stop wearing the suit. And walk around naked? Dumbass. I meant wear different clothes. So... You should also have an ultimate talent, girl. Well? Would you mind sharing it? What is Ava's ultimate talent? Did she ever say? I know she seems kind of like Kyoko in a way. The way Kyoko and Makoto stick together. Mark Bursky. My name's Mark Bursky. I produce music. I wonder if this voice actor actually does make music. 
So a music producer? Yeah. Mark. It's nothing. It's mostly bad remixes and stuff. Mommy! Your music is wicked really? good. You know my songs? Not a chance. Nope. <laughs> Do I even have to? You're the ultimate music producer. That just about says it all. Oh god. Moving on. I assume you two also woke up in this place, right? Well, she was able to get an answer out of him. Hey, there's an ultimate liar. Who is it? Do you have any idea what might be going yeah. on? This whole shebang did come out of the blue, but... Let me think. To be honest, it feels a lot like an extreme haunt. Do you know what that is? No, I don't. The figures. You don't look the type. Hey. Meaning? You following? Anyway, extreme haunts are really intense horror attractions. Think a haunted house crossed with a survival horror game. That sounds pretty scary, but really cool. Oh boy. Staff will chuck you into the ground tunnel systems, trap you in coffins, anything to scare you. I'm pretty good with the coffins, not so much the tunnels. That's not important. What's this got to do with us? Catch my drift? There's a couple of places that are known for starting their haunts with a simulated kidnapping. Eh? For real? To make it feel as real as possible, they'll even take you when you least expect it. But you didn't sign up for this. The thing is, you can't just jump anybody. You gotta consent first. That's what I just said. Ugh. The hell? I never agree to being kidnapped. Extreme haunts. People know better than to involve me in crap. In that crap. Sorry. Well. Maybe we can send it to our kidnapping without realizing. I... For example, the letters we received from the academy. Is it possible those invitations are actually consent forms in disguise? Really. Don't tell me you actually believe this guy. Correct. Given that what we've seen so far, I'd wager anything is possible. Is that really what's happening here? And accepting that letter asking me to join Eden Garden Academy, did I unknowingly agree to this crap? Yeah. Well, that's just a theory. We won't know what's going on until we explore some more. We don't even know how long they've been asleep. That's what I'm thinking about. In any case... I know some people who might be interested in the theory. They're gathering by the courtyard outside. You can join them if you want. Adios. Sure thing. Let's go, Mark. Though he looked less than enthused, he let the drag racer take him by the arm and lead him away. Could it really be possible? Were the letters we received actually consent forms in disguise? Is this some kind of messed up attraction? What does that say about Eden Garden Academy? Is it a part of the trade? Is Eden's Garden's Academy even real? I should know better than to think nonsense like that. If the Academy was fake, someone would have already blown its cover. It's more likely that this is happening unbeknownst to the Academy. My thing is, is this could be, there could be a time jump where they lost their memories and stuff because Dr. Rampa is done now. How about you? Yo! I'm Cassidy Amber, the ultimate pro gamer. Don't forget it, Kay. Ultimate pro gamer. Cassidy. Very nice. Jumping right into the introduction. I like it. <laughs> yep. Making a good first impression is key to grabbing the attention of your viewers. Especially if you have over 20 million of them. Gotta earn that watch time. Is that really true? 20 million? Is gaming really that popular? Duh. It's not just gaming, it's pro gaming. Yo! <laughs> Facing off against opponents in front of a large audience with prestige and prizes on the line. The stakes can't get any higher. While her talent is pretty frivolous, her attitude towards video game compositions is somewhat impressive. It's sort of like how I feel about debate. Question. Hello? What is it? Do you guys know if this place has internet? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> this would totally be up with modern times. I promised my comrades my streaming schedule wouldn't change after starting school. So I'm kind of freaking Come out. Again. Your comrades? Hey, hey. Cassidy's comrades are the biggest fan community on the internet. She must mean her followers, being a streamer and all. It would definitely explain the hat. Curious. 
You must be very wealthy then. I've heard that popular streamers earn a lot of money, especially from subscriber donations. Indeed. Oh, there are many stories about young men falling prey to the infamous seared subscription. Oh god. They are rendered forever unmarriageable. Such a shame. <laughs> Gosh, I cannot speak. So how many suckers have you swindled? With such a large fan base, you must be raking in the dough. What kind of face is that? The hell? I see how it is. You think the only motivation is money, don't you? I... Well, duh. Why else would you be a streamer? Bourgeoisie scum. <laughs> I stream for the betterment of the human race. As the leader of Cassidy's comrades, it's my duty to redistribute most of my earnings to the masses. You mean you give away all your money? Yep. I do tons of expensive and generous stunts on my channel. Most of it is for charity, but sometimes it's for random subscribers. <laughs> my genius is almost One... frightening. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> One time I bought a spaghetti factory and donated it to a public school. Those kids will never have to pay for lunch again. They've probably gotten sick of eating pasta All every day. Right. <laughs> All of these giveaways are streamed too. They're really popular, so I get tons of views and donations from Impressive. Them. You've managed to commodify the act of charity. Of course, I gotta reserve some money for basic necessities. A truckload of chocolate soda being one. Chocolate soda? Uh. But it's not a problem for a person like me to have money, since I earn it through my own hard work. So unfair. The real problems are the swine who make billions every year, even though all they do is sit around, drink cocktails, and stare at their stock for a while. Bourgeoisie scum. In fact, I can even detect the rancid stench of a morally bankrupt billionaire in this very academy. I bet they're plotting to profit off of our suffering as we speak. You might not be wrong about that, at all. This girl is honestly pretty deranged. Though that might be why she has such a large audience. You know, that face is really funny. Regardless, it doesn't explain why someone like her was invited to Eden's Garden Academy. Anywho. As wary as I am of the future confrontations between you and the more affluent students, I suggest you head over to the building I investigated. We've been telling other people to gather there. It was nice meeting y'all. Well, of course. Oof. So you all got caught up in this too? Did you? I remember seeing the five of you on that train. You're really ultimate students. Correct. Huh? We wouldn't have been on the train if we were. <clears throat> Just making sure. I knew the education sector had a low standards, but are they just handing out titles to anyone who asks? Please. <laughs> Right, right, that's it. What's the matter? <laughs> I know this bitch. Damn! Ah. As in, personal? She's the harlot that's been ruining my magazine. <sighs> Ever since her interview with the rich people's digest, her stupid success stories have been plastered everywhere. Youngest ever self-billionaire pioneer of the agricultural industry, Black. Did I hear that right? This girl we're talking to, is she actually... <laughs> I'm flattered you've memorized my resume. Huh? So those things she said weren't an exaggeration? If I may ask. This is news to you? Anyone who is... Anyone knows about Winona? 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 <laughs> yes, that would be my name. Although, many call me the ultimate entrepreneur. Origins aside, it's one good title. Ultimate entrepreneur, okay. No wonder she gave off such an intense aura. This girl probably has enough money to buy an entire country. So that doesn't mean I'm going to let her take down to me. talk down to me. She has looks, talent, and wealth. She would be a truly a specialist match. Interesting. Why would a billionaire need to attend a school like Eden's Garden Academy? Mm. I thought it would be an opportunity to make connections with the well-established geniuses of my generation. Nasty. Now that I'm aware of the lax admissions process, I'm leaving the first chance I get. And not because you've been kidnapped. <laughs> you can't leave. Destiny has declared that I must guide you towards a most wondrous romance. Nope. 
I'm not really interested in that. I'd rather receive financial reparations from the Academy. <laughs> at the very least, let me be your stead. With my divine foresight, I shall lead your legal battle to victory. You sound like a simp. After I fell asleep in the train car, someone must have carried me out and dumped me next to the trees. Sheesh. Why did no one stop them? Were there no precautions in place to stop someone from manhandling a student? Or did you come here of your own free will? I'd say it was an extreme ineptitude on the school's end, but since it appears I'm not the only victim... What a joke. Well, that makes things all the more sinister. So she thinks someone carried her here? It's plausible, I guess. They could have transported us from the train by vehicle and carried us in. When you woke up, was there anyone with Honestly? you? Honestly? Yep, but she was weird, so I left her. <laughs> You're a walking stereotype. You see? We know about as much as you do. The five of us have been walking around and talking to the other students and we're on the train. Let's see. The rest of them are congregating outside. Once we meet everyone, maybe we'll be able to figure out what's going on. By the on. way... Say, why don't you join me? <laughs> I think I'll take you up on that offer. Such a relief that one of you actually had something useful to say. That girl is a piece of work, but given the recent happening, she's not worth the stress. More importantly, what's happening to us, it's too much for a single pair of hands. Someone has to sneak on, maybe even hijack that train. Plan a chemical agent and then carry everyone they knock out. There's got to be more than one person behind this, the group commander. The question becomes, who and why? The question? Could be like the other down the games could be completely different, do not. Golly! Hey, what's this, my friend? Stop. Let's not go that far. I don't even know your name or town. Wait just a sec. Don't let me tell you. I cannot do the country Hello. like that. My name is Ingrid Grimwall and I'm the ultimate blacksmith. She's the blacksmith! Oh my god, I was ex so I was so excited to meet the blacksmith. Ingrid. A real blacksmith. Is it anything like how movies depict it? Have you ever made swords out of molten metal? Not just swords, but tools, armor, statues. If you can name it, I can forge it. Mm -hmm. It's never an easy undertaking, I will admit. Brain muscles are par for the course, but... The same way climbing a mountain is painstaking, but reaching the top delivers a high you can never forget. The struggle is all worth it for the outcome. <laughs> No wonder she's built like an athlete. Her job sounds like many stuff high intensity exercise. So how is your plan not gone extinct? Oh. Uh, extinct? Made redundant by technology. Can't you see? Aren't there ways to make specialized weapons without the Well, themselves? I I don't like to admit it. Against modern machines, it's true, no one needs to match. <laughs> because I think I'm better than them. Those hunks of metal may look cool, but their creations lack a human touch. You gotta keep things natural, traditional. That's when truly amazing things happen. I can agree with her on that one. I like the idea of it being, like, handmade. It's like its own special thing. It's, like, more impactful and meaningful if you, if you think about it. Now, would you look at that? If my creation touches the heart, it's better than anything else made by machines. Imperfection be dead. My, my. Better than machines, huh? People have always told me that my skills were impressive, but I'm yet to be compared to, to a computer or something. How come a blacksmith can see that? That's sort of a claim before me. Could you explain? There's always been a demand for handmade things, especially nowadays. Does your audience skew older by chance? Old folks, movie producers, board game enthusiasts, even the occasional youngin. <laughs> oh god. These are all the people who visit me. Wowie. It's great when I can relate to most of my clients. Their excitement is mine. Exactly which clients does she relate to? Moving on. In any case, are you the same as us? Were you also kidnapped on that train and taken home? Oh. Well, I wouldn't say kidnapped. Come again. Did you not black out on the train? No, I did. Well? Then how else would you describe the situation? Maybe it's a surprise excursion? Hiya! 
Better yet, a surprise exam. The people running this program are just putting our abilities to the test. Take this seriously. That's stupid. If the academy was that unhinged, no one would continue attending it. Let's get going! Well, you know, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Needless optimism isn't a substitute for reason. By the way... You're kind of right about that. I will give you that. By the way, there's a gathering happening outside the buildings, Kiara explored. Sorry, Kayura. I'm terrible at pronouncing this so far. Would you like to join? We plan to discuss some very important matters there. No. Aren't you nice? I'll get right to it. Don't do anything silly while I'm gone. Aww. Well done. We've exchanged formalities with everyone here. We should meet up with others and formulate plans. I am an ultimate. Honor, honor as ultimate. We will not be combined any longer. What a dramatic kid. The others should be gathered by the courtyard outside. That's where I should head next. Is she really a kid? I don't think so. Oh, okay, it automatically goes. Even, it's everything. It looks so similar. The other 11 students were gathered in the center of the courtyard, nervously discussing the situation. Any clue? Oh, Desmond, I remember him. The marksman guy. So, uh, any clue what's going on here? What if... We're being pranked? 100%. Oh. This would be a really elaborate No, prank. seriously. Some people have the money for mm. it. Yeah, he is right. Whatever it is, I'm killing the prick who's responsible. Unsurprisingly, they didn't seem to be getting anywhere. Excuse me. This is off topic, but I don't believe I ever asked your name, Rav Woman in the Visor. Remember the name. It's Grace, you wanker. Oh my god! She basically me you. Except she plays golf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your surname, please. <laughs> Madison. Grace Madison, the ultimate golfer. Hey. How do you know that? My my. You said it in that dining hall, remember? That's problematic. I don't recall you being there for introduction. However. Maybe she's a Z's dropping? I would never! <laughs> I simply happened to overhear your conversation is all. In other words, she was eavesdropping. <laughs> okay. Hey, if we could take a step back for a second. What was this about a dining Correct. hall? It's inside the building over here. Uh, is there a kitchen too? Man. They got anything, locale? I'm starving. Hey, be patient, will you? Introductions are still underway. Yeah. Okay, but you have to speed, Roman. Oh, man. Gaming references from someone else? The universe has been thrown out of balance. Along with Grace Madison, we have the mighty and prestigious Wolfgang Akira. He's well known as the ultimate lawyer. Oh. Yes, that's correct. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, lawyer man. Lawyer man. Is that your name for me? Yep. It's either that or Wolfie. Do you like Wolfie more? I'm calling him Wolfie now. I, I must decline. Stay with what you already have. Nope. Hi. A lawyer? Wow, it's so nice to meet you. Next Aww. up we have... Um... Tokisha turned and squinted at me. His name seems to be escaping me. Perhaps you might know Wolfgang. Grace. I'm not too familiar. <laughs> Fuck if I know his Risky. name. He told me, I'm pretty sure. It's Mark, right? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I've got a habit of mixing up these sort of guys Boy. together. What are you waiting for? Tell us your name already. <coughs> Damon Maitsu, Ultimate Debater. A debater? Nice. Ooh. Ooh, be interested. So, like a bargain bin way? Hey. That's... I think it sounds so fly here. Who else is left? Hiya. Eva. So, in one of the trailers, I saw that there was an ultimate liar. Is she the ultimate liar? See? Yeah, share your name. Eva. Oof. Just Eva? <laughs> Just like my video games. Eva Sunaka. Mm -hmm. It's a very pretty name. Now, would oh you goodness. look at that? Putting the elegant, 
You guys, let's not get off topic. What's your talent, Eva? That? Now that she's mentioned it, I'm pretty sure you never told me your talent. What's up with that? I told you mine. It's only fair you tell me yours. Does she... Hmm. Ultimate liar. Poker face! <laughs> I'm sorry, she reminds me of that song. Ultimate liar? This is where things start, start getting serious, right? <laughs> what's so funny? So, like, what's your actual Deal with it. That's it. Uh... Good to know! Didn't know lying was something you could be best at. You learn something new every Are day. Are you for real? You actually believe her? How is someone supposed to make a career out of lying? Does now, it? now. Easy. Get a job in marketing. It's the truth. It's just what I am. How can that be? Is that supposed to be your explanation? But... I mean, if you're the best at lying, how are we supposed to believe anything you say? As he spurred those last few words, we all turned to Eva expectantly. That was when it happened. Oh no! Oh no! No, no, no! Flashback! Testing, testing. One, two, three. Oh my god, is it some British dude? Can everyone hear me? Yes? Great! <clears throat> Good morning, my amicable student friends. First off, allow me to apologize. I realize the ride here was a bumpy one, especially for ultimates such as yourselves. But expect things to be different within these halls. Yes, it is my pleasure and privilege to welcome you all to Eden's Garden Academy. May this be the beginning of a wondrous journey. Oh, yeah. Doubt it. Did you just say we're at Eden's Garden Academy? No. We can't be. You think? No kidding, this place looks nothing like a school. Stop talking so loud. I want to hear this. I'm sure you're on the edge of all of your seats waiting for a proper orientation. But there's one more thing to do before we can meet face to face. It won't take very long. All I ask is that you enter the building across from me. From there we can begin preparations for a formal introduction. Until then, farewell. I must take note of this. That was certainly interesting. Black. Couldn't agree more. Somebody explain. Do you think he's the person that brought us here? Is it gonna be an actual person or another mascot? You following? Yo, what if he set up the sleeping gas on the train? A bit complicated. And that travel bag? How do you reckon you snuck it on? Guys. Sorry to interrupt, but we're not going to skip that part he said about the building, are we? <sighs> he wants us to go inside. What do you think? Should we? Hell no! I'm not waltzing right in there just for me to die or something. <gasps> die? You think we're gonna be harmed? Yes, you will be. Hold on. If our captors wanted to kill us, we'd already be dead. What would be the point of killing us now? Oh, well, there's a point. And it's not gonna be him that's killing you. Reactions, I guess? I don't know, I'm not a psychopath. How should I put it? If it calls for it. What if we walk in together as one big group? When you know someone is looking out for you, things can be a lot less scary. Ah, uh, she's got a point. The only way we can progress is if we face the problem head on. Soybean! Easier said than done, Soybean. <laughs> I suppose that makes sense, but isn't it too naive? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a bit of optimism from time to time. Let's just try it, okay? Alright. We gathered around the entrance, none of us willing to be the first to walk through. Eventually, I mustered enough willpower to push the doors open. I'm scared. Is there going to be like a weird Monokuma looking thing? Probably. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm genuinely so confused right now. I wasn't expecting to see a body. In front of me lay the battered, bloody body of a young woman. Who was this person? Was there a 17th person? God, 
I didn't kill. Is that girl dead? Why is there a dead body? What happened? There's no way. Is this another student? How many of them are there? Holy shit! What the shit? Um. Signing hall people, you were in this building before. Tell us what's going Dude. on. Why didn't you mention this the other hell? girl? I never even saw really? her. Really? You were there too, bargain bin. Don't even. <coughs> There's a floor below us. That's where I woke up. Very funny. And you missed a whole ass person? Yeah, right. Hell no. You saw her. You must have seen her. Come on, just admit it. <laughs> Stop pressing me for the answer, you. Hold on. I can corroborate Damon's story. There was never a body. Miss Madison and I walked through this exact hallway and saw nothing. You know, he's very calm, but he is a lawyer, so he's probably seen this stuff. I, I wasn't expecting this. So between the time you left and the time you returned, this girl was murdered? <laughs> you think she was murdered? Well, I don't know for sure, but what happened to her? Does that really look self-inflicted? Oh, shit! So there's a killer running loose? I like how unhinged this is. Um, uh... I don't recall hearing anything when I was waiting outside. Desmond can back me up, right? Shit. She's right. There were no screams, and no one left the building. <laughs> so the killer is still inside! <laughs> okay, chill. Maybe it happened when y'all were all, well... I have no idea. Maybe the headmaster, or whoever's in charge, the uh, mastermind set it up. As more panic shouts fill the corridor, it silently walked over to the Oi. body. What are you doing? Is she the 16th student? Ignoring Grace's question, she crouched down beside the dead girl and poked her in the face. The, you... the fuck is wrong with you? Stop Change. that! It's not real. I this girl. Mm. She's just a dummy. A dummy? How? That's definitely a real body. You're crazy! Didn't you just say you were a liar? Why should we believe it's you? If you don't believe me, inspect it yourself. Huh. If no one else is going to, I... Y2K? Wait, him? Are we ready? Well... How does that sound, everyone? We turned to look at each of us. I had my reservations, but when his gaze met mine, my lips instantly sealed shut. The look he gave me, it was unexpectedly intense. Okay. Yes, you can do it. The pirate casually approached the body and knelt beside it. Then, just like Ava- I'll be damned! Would you look at that? She's right. It is a dummy! For real? Say what? How did she know it was fake? You see. My intuition. Also, a corpse would smell. This doesn't smell. Dude, no! As if. Could you be any more suspect? That ain't it. Not just that. There's something under the dummy. Wait. You could have said sus. Maybe they had the perfect opportunity to do that. Huh? What is it? A tablet. Jean rose from the ground and turned around to face us like his name. Sure enough, he was like he was holding the tablet. It slid under the dummy. There was no blood on it, and as far as I can tell. A nice hiding place. Oh. I wouldn't have noticed it if I hadn't taken a closer look. It gives the impression I was supposed to, don't it? For real? Hey, what's on that tablet? Let me turn it on. Is this the introduction? He pressed a button, then walked over and held the tablet out for us to see. Oh, it's loading something, like a new handbook. After a few seconds, the loading symbol vanished. In its place was a photo of a girl. This is like a, um, is this for real? This is like a faux simulation of the killing game starting, like maybe an introduction. Alright, I have counted and there is already 16 students. This must be an example. In its place was a photo of a girl. Oops, not auto. What is this? However, the tablet hadn't finished loading. Just after that image, 
The victim is Kara Koskinen, the ultimate teacher's aide. She was stabbed in the torso 28 times. Jesus! It's a gun. The victim also suffered chemical burns to the head. The most notable burns are, are to her eyes and scalp. Cause of death is blood loss. Time of death is unknown. It reads like a body report. First, a dead body that's revealed to be a dummy. Now, a body report? What the hell is going on? Jeez, took you long enough to find a tablet. <clears throat> long, long ago, a heinous murder was committed, and the victim so happened to be an ultimate. Much like yourselves. What? Before you is a perfect reconstruction of the crime scene, as well as the effigy of the victim with the appropriate injuries. It was quite emotionally draining to craft that dummy. It serves as a strong reminder of what was lost. She was such a nice girl. So much potential lost to violence. What is this man playing at? Anyway, it is your responsibility to figure out the details of her death, the surrounding area, the murder weapon, how she reacted to her final moments, etc. Oh, but don't worry about finding the murderer's identity. He's already right in front of you. See that gray man on the tablet screen? Yup, that's your guy. Please investigate the crime scene and gather as many clues as you can. After a certain period of time, you will be asked to present your findings. To me! Believe me, it's in your best interest to put your full effort into this. Have fun, everyone! Not okay! Investigation? What the hell? Back off! Fuck! Enough of this already. Okay, this is lagging. I don't want any part of this. Stop telling you what to do. If it starts lagging again, please bear with me. I'm not sure why it started lagging. Okay. Grace grabbed a large chunk of rock from the floor and ran it over to the speaker. Screaming in insanity, she pulled her hand as far back as she could. And she got electrocuted. <laughs> No way, was that the watch? Trying to destroy private property? That's a zap. <gasps> Fuck. Oh yeah. Fuck you! Damn, this is so unhinged. Holy! Is he for real? Is this school really trying to make us solve an old murder? Don't say that! Hold on, you guys. You can't just believe everything that strange man claims. Why would Eden's Garden Academy? Any academy, for that matter, do something like this. Even if it tried to, the ultimate talent program would have stopped them. Mm. Not so. I wouldn't underestimate the school board executives. Money can get to people's heads and make them take risks they shouldn't. Did that guy specifically say it was a dude who killed? Is it a guy, or did they just say guy? I'm not really sure. This academy said it was unique. Maybe this is their version of an entrance exam. What a joke. They're so obsessed with being different from the competition, they forget what people want. <sighs> You'd be surprised. More like they've forgotten how to be sane. What did you say? Would the UTP really be okay with this? Think about it this way. Seems pretty counterintuitive. Everyone would want to quit their enrollment after this. Uh, and so, I'm talking. If this is the work of a separate group, why are they using the Academy's uh, name? As a way to hide their own, maybe? They might have even kidnapped us because we're attending Eden's Garden Academy. So... Explain. Hmm. Well, what if they knew we all had to board a train? It would explain why we passed out. They boarded the train before us and planted the bag with gas. There's gotta be something. Because this happened on the train to the academy, they could claim they are the academy. If I may ask. Everyone keeps saying they. Isn't it the speaker man who kidnapped us? That's not it. It obviously wasn't just him. Seizing a train, bringing 16 people to an unknown location, that takes a team to do. You'd be surprised. Of course, that raises another glaring question. Why us? 
Why have we been brought into this? Is it because we're ultimates? It's not like anyone's specialty is detective work. It just doesn't add up. Actually, a lawyer and debater are close to detective work. Oh, grotesque. I think I will let the rest of you handle this. I doubt I'm needed in this grotesque situation. I'll just be on my way. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Actually, can I come with? I'd feel super bad leaving you alone. Hmm. Sure. Guys, if you don't participate in the investigation, you're not going to know what's going on in the class trial. I say from experience. I'm sure, I suppose. You can do it! Good luck solving the mystery, everyone. I know you can do it. You're going to be forced to participate. Trust me. You're making a mistake. On that note, Diana and Toshika walked away in the direction of the room with the kitchen. Oh. Mm. Uh, uh. Don't get close! I'm going with them. Screw this! Kai took off down the hallway like his life depended on it. I'm waiting for the announcement telling them they're forced to do this. Better them than us. I don't know. <sighs> Will that man really let us go if we investigate? Stay no. Calm. We won't know if we continue standing around like this. For now, all we can do is take the risk and do as he says. He's right. I need to brace myself and follow the directions I've been given. As of now, it's my only way to learn more information about the current situation. I can only hope that this ordeal will be over soon.